Jill caught the quartz and Angie had thrown her just as she neared the planet's ice rings. John. Jill, can you hear me? Jill. John, come and save me. Yolandir is after me. John. I can't do that right now. I am too busy fighting an army. But I will guide you on how to adjust your speed to the ring's speed. Hi, Aga. He shouted as he battled. So that you can take cover there from Yolandir. Okay. Jill. Jill. What the hell do you mean? You are not coming. Get your ass over here before she kills me. John. Jill, listen to me for a second, now. I have installed special atomic nanobots in your suit, for turbo speeds. The particles on these rings are like big chunks of ice. They move in about 64,000 k, meter per hour. I know it sounds scary, but you just have to keep pressing the turbo button, ignore the fact that tiny laser-powered atomic bombs constantly blow up behind you, and keep checking your speed gouge, until you match that speed. And be careful not to hit anything. Any tiny asteroid particle will kill you instantly there. Jill, you are insane. I'm turning back. John, no, she will catch you. Just trust me, Jill. I will come and save you soon. Jill took a big breath. She searched for the turbo button on her suit. When she found it, she closed her eyes and took a little prayer. Jill, oh God, please help me. I'm just a cheerleader stuck in space, trying to save the world from things that I don't even fully understand. You know I am a good person, you remember I saved those rabobants and organized those Swerthlex strike. Okay, maybe that strike didn't bring those Swerthlexes so much luck but I did want them to have a better life. So I guess what I'm saying is give peace a chance, and stuff, you know. And give me a chance to make the world a better place, like Poco said. A world where mad people don't go around throwing planets at each other. Yay, so I guess people end these with Amen, so Amen and you be with you, I guess. She pushed the turbo button. Hundreds of microatomic explosions propelled her forward. She saw the ring's flashes close up on her. 4000 kh, 2100 kh, 4500 kh. She finally reached 64,000 kh and saw the big chunks of ice slow down beneath her feet. Jill. Thank you God, I knew you were a nice guy after all. You sent John to me. I am sorry I doubted you. She took the shield off her back, activated its hover mode, and began surfing on it atop the sea of small ice asteroids, forming the planet's rings, as if it was a snowy mountain. She looked behind her to see if Yolandia is coming. As she looked back, the dimensional gate above her spat out an alien centipede-like creature that had jets instead of legs and had many long claws, long pink claws, tackles and a terrifying head with lots of eyes and pinches jill what the hell are you guys jill landed on the dimensional traveler centipede it was glowing with pink lines and clearly came from a different dimension insect like jet creatures shot lasers at her and plasma balls she deflected the lasers using her plasma shield the laser had hit another dimension traveler creature she crawled into a crevice in the dimensional traveler centipede's armor and evaded the plasma ball exploding on its back. She shot one insect-like jet creature using the laser gun that had fallen out of one of the creature's hands. John, look out behind you, Jill. She is coming. Jill looked up behind and saw the swarm of sparkling lights that were a part of Yolandia. She looked forward and discovered some other insect-like jet creatures in another dimensional traveler centipede coming her way. She ducked and evaded a laser and then she flipped in the air to an open body backflip, just as the back of the alien jet centipede-like creature exploded to smithereens upon touching Yolandia. The explosions went on further and passed above Jill's head, as the parallel dimensional traveler centipede went by. She covered her head with her hands and ducked. John, there is a propeller-shaped disturbance in the ring eye front of you caused by a moonlet. Jill, I see it. Like a small moon. John, if you create some kind of destruction and cross to the other side of the ring, you might hide behind that small moon. Jill, roger that. Jill had shot two of the jet alien insects. One of them had swirled into Yolandia's path. The pink-haired cheerleader flew inside the gap behind the moonlet. She came across the other side of the ring. The moonlet was about 120 meters long, so Jill could find cover behind it easily. She grabbed onto the icy surface and waited. Jill. Burr, it's so cold here. There was no response on the communicator. Jill turned up he hit unit of her suit. Some time has passed. Jill saw an explosion above her. 
Jill. She is near. John. I don't know what to do. John. I am scared. I can't keep hiding here. My armor is pink for God's sake. That's it. Jill had leaped forward from her hiding place. The flash had blinded her momentarily as she went through the interdimensional gate. Lightnings engulfed the round portal, 